Now with Karma Dickerson live outside the hospital in Torrance, where many of the firefighters are being treated. Karma. Yes, they were brought here to Harbor UCLA Hospital. Two of them had critical injuries. One injured so bad, he actually had to be moved to another hospital within Los Angeles. Initially, there were 10 LA City firefighters at the Wilmington semi truck fire Thursday morning. We got an explosion. When there was an unexpected explosion on board the truck. We got a firefighter down. Nine firefighters were injured, four with moderate and three with minor injuries, but two were critically injured. Oh, they're both conscious and breathing. Those patients were evaluated for burn blast and airway inhalational injuries and stabilized. Fire Chief Kristen Crowley says she spoke with eight of the firefighters. The ninth was not able to talk because he was intubated. One of those firefighters received specialized care at the burn center and he has already been airlifted to LA General Hospital for further care. Many of the details of the firefighters conditions won't be shared to protect their privacy. But trauma surgeon Molly Dean shared this much. After the patients were able to be stabilized, I was actually able to visualize some of the footage to see the blast injury that had occurred to these patients. And frankly, it's remarkable that none of them were more severely injured. As for supporting those firefighters and their families through their recoveries, it goes well beyond just putting the fire out. Now it's more about how we're going to take care of our fires, firefighters from their injuries, also as a, taking a holistic approach. I'm here with a simple message to our firefighters in the building behind me and in fire stations across our city watching the news this morning unfold. The four million people of Los Angeles stand with you. And I asked Chief Crowley about the prognosis for those firefighters, and she said she believes that eight of them are stable, on the path to recovery, ready to start that phase. However, there is still a lot of concern about the condition of the ninth firefighter, the one that had to be transported for specialized burn treatment. Reporting live from Torrance, I'm Karma Dickerson, NBC4 News.